D2DNY Real World HVAC Simplified and here's a fix that I did a quick quick fix for this sensor in this train RTU IntelliPak uh, unit this sensor was always reading error it goes all the way up to 150, 160, 180 and then it goes into error faults and circuit number two circuit number two will just lock out these are the compressor contacted for circuit number two Ooh, just about dropped my meter baby can't have that so what I found is that off the board so I did change the board which is this board right here I changed the board and I've changed this thermistor this thermistor and oh gotta go back I went too far ahead so I change this thermistor as well okay but still the arrow comes back so what I end up doing today right what I end up doing today today I was watching it and as I was watching it I see the numbers start going up right so I anticipated that uh, there's probably a, a, a intermittent short a very light short to ground and one of the wires going to the thermistor and um, so I tested it to my meter from the terminal these are the two wires right here this is what I did so real time I tested with my meter so one of this wire to ground is 2.8 volts the other wire is actually just ground or, or negative DC negative is DC volts 2.8 volts DC it runs in so what it does it sends out uh, it sends out uh, 2.8 volts to the sensor and as the resistance goes up the amperage uh, draw uh, will goes down and so the temperature reading here um, will go up as well so again once the amperage draw goes up um, what am I saying? What am I saying? So as the resistance of the sensor uh, increases, the amperage draw decreases, and um, the temperature will go down. So I think that's negative temperature coefficient, coefficient. Because if I disconnect the wire right here, one of the wires disconnected, and obviously the amperage draw is like zero, it's like way down, and the temperature started to go down. I don't know if that makes it. Come into the comment section if it's positive temperature coefficient or negative temperature coefficient. I, it doesn't really matter here. So once I figured that, I said, okay, perhaps the the two the two point eight volt DC plus um, is um, that wire is intermittently shorting. So if I was to cut this wire because the the, the thermistor is not polarity sensitive, non-polarity sensitive, cut these wires and flip them around, whereas the wire that's intermittently shorting is already DC negative, which is save as ground, um, then that would solve that. So the moment I cut the wire, flip it around. Uh, the temperature was going up i was up to like uh 106 and it was climbing slowly 106 and i was at like about 50 or 48 over here right and then it was like 106 over here and slowly climbing you're seeing 106 on this side the leaving side and so quickly i do it quickly strip the strip both wires cut them strip them flip them around and then boom the temperature started reading proper now when the wire is cut I said the temperature goes down so that's fixed that that, is, that does the i'm going to see if it stays on and that would be a quick fix that's a quick fix you guys have this experience comment in the comment section video is over i'm out subscribe if you haven't subscribed shortest video i've ever done four minutes <laughs>